Your name? A.B. Philbin Bowman. The charity you're playing for tonight? Amnesty International. And your specialist subject? Monty Python's Life of Brian. A.B., you have two minutes on Monty Python's Life of Brian starting now. The Life of Brian was set in the Holy Land, but where was the movie actually filmed? Monastery Tunisia. Yes. Which member of Monty Python directed the Life of Brian? Terry Jones. Yes. Whilst Jones did direct the film, two scenes, including Brian's abduction in an alien spacecraft, was directed by whom? Terry Gilliam. Yes. At the Sermon on the Mount, in the words of Eric Idle, where were Big Nose and Conk Face from? Big Nose City? Yes. On its release, The Life of Brian was banned in several countries, but what tagline did the team use to advertise it, referring to one of those countries that banned the film? So funny it was banned in Norway. Yes. In the opening credits, the time of day is referred to. What time was it? About tea time. Yes. Graham Chapman played the central character, Brian, but he wasn't the original choice. Who was? John Cleese. Yes. Which Python played Brian's mother? Terry Jones. Yes. After producers EMI dropped the film, which member of the Beatles took up the challenge and provided the money for its making? George Harrison. Yes. In the stoning scene, the use of which biblical name was considered blasphemous? Jehovah. Yes. The entire script of the film is dedicated to which rock star who tragically died before he was supposed to appear in one of the scenes? Keith Moon. Yes. Brian tried to write graffiti on the wall before being caught, questioned and released by a Roman guard. He was trying to write in Latin, but what was the phrase in English? Romans go home. Yes. What underground organisation led by John Cleese was Brian allowed to join during the circus scene? The People's Front of Judea. Yes. Who was reputedly Brian's father in the film, though we never meet him? A Roman centurion called Nautius Maximus. Yes. What was the name of Pontius Pilate's great friend in Rome, whose wife was called Incontinentia Buttocks? Bigus Dickus. Yes. Eric Idle plays one role in the film. I've started, so I'll finish. Eric Idle plays one role in the film, a man called Stan. But what woman's name does he want to adopt? Loretta. Yes. A.B., you didn't pass on any questions, and at the end of that round, you scored 16 points. Okay. That brings us to the end of our specialist subject round. In fourth place with three points is Derek Burke. In third place with eight points is Claire Cambametu. In second place with 12 points is Fergus Finlay, which means our leader at the halfway mark with 16 points is A.B. Philbin Bowman. And A.B., the score you're aiming to beat is 25. You had 16 points in your first round. You did as your specialist subject uh, the life of Brian. What else are you working on at the moment? Obviously, you're not working on the life of Brian. You're just using it as an inspiration. <laughs> a late extra, you know. Yes. Um, well, I had a show about the financial crisis, which I'm touring around, which may surprise you, it's called Pope Benedict Bond Villain. The idea is the Pope is the perfect Bond villain. He has a German accent, a shadowy Nazi past, a priceless art collection, and he heads a sinister organisation which is hell-bent on taking over the world. So and are you hoping that if on. Pope Benedict visits Ireland for the Eucharistic Congress, that perhaps you might invite him to one of your shows? I'd be delighted if he showed up. I mean, I've had one into the DUP, Al-Qaeda, the Ku Klux Klan. I'd love to add the Pope to that list. Yes, it would be quite a feather in your cap, wouldn't it? Well, it'd be the score you have to beat now is 25, mm -hmm. and so you will have two minutes on your general knowledge questions, starting from now. What was the name of the Roman goddess of love? Venus. Yes. Kirk Hammett, James Hetfield, Robert Trujillo and Lars Ulrich are the members of which multi-million selling heavy metal band? Metallica? Yes. There is a fish that is a delicacy in Japan which has some very poisonous organs so that it must be prepared by a specially trained chef. What is the name of this fish? It's in The Simpsons but I don't know. Pass. In 2008, Faulty Towers, actor Andrew Sachs was the victim of Saxgate, a prank phone call by Jonathan Ross and which English comedian? Russell Brand. Yes. Who was the Lord Protector of England, Scotland and Ireland from 1653 to 1658? Oliver Cromwell. Yes. What is the name of the 2,000 kilometre long coral reef found off the coast of Queensland, Australia? The Great Barrier Reef. Yes. In May 1970, two government ministers were dismissed by Taoiseach Jack Lynch for allegedly using government money to import arms for the Irish Republican Army. One of these ministers was Neil Blaney. What was the name of the other? Boland. No, Charles Hockey. Oh, of course. What piece of computer equipment shares its name with a musical instrument? 
Keyboard. Yes. What is the name of the only elemental metal that is liquid at room temperature? Mercury. Yes. In the Charles Dickens novel Oliver Twist, the fictional character Jack Dawkins is better known by what nickname? The Artful Dodger. Yes. What was the name of the American country singer whose most famous hit was Stand By Your Man in 1968? Tommy Wynette. Yes. How did American singer-songwriter Buddy Holly die? Plane crash. Yes. Who is the author of the book We Need to Talk About Kevin, which won the Orange Prize for Fiction in 2005? I uh, don't know. Which member of former boy band Take That took the place of Simon Cowell on the 2011 series of the TV talent show X Factor? Gary Barlow? Yes. Okay. Which classic movie ends with the line, Louis, I think this is, the, I'll start it so I'll finish. Louis, I think this is the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Casablanca. Yes. A.B., you had two passes in that round. The puffer fish is the fish you couldn't remember was the delicacy in Japan. Whether it was or wasn't on The Simpsons, I don't know. And the author of the book uh, we need to talk about, Kevin, was Lionel Shriver, a woman called Lionel Shriver. So at the end of that round, A.B., you have scored 12 points, giving you a grand total after the two rounds of 28 points. At the end of the general knowledge round, let's have a look at the final scores. In fourth place with five points is Derek Burke. In third place with 13 points is Claire Cambametu. Our runner-up with 25 points is Fergus Finlay. And our highest score with 28 points is A.B. Philbin Bowman. That means that A.B. is tonight's winner. Well done, as well as being this week's Celebrity Mastermind, you've also won an additional €1,000 for your chosen charity. Join us next time when tonight's victor, A.B. Philbin Bowman, joins Gavin Duffy, Rick O'Shea, Anton Savage and Alan Short for the final of Ireland's Celebrity Mastermind. Your name? A.B. Philbin Bowman. The charity you are representing? Amnesty International. And your specialist subject? The stupidity of Father Dougal Maguire. A.B., you have two minutes on the stupidity of Father Dougal Maguire starting now. In the very first episode of Father Ted, Father Dougal walks into the living room with what all over his face? Shaving cream. Yes. In the Christmas special, what present does Father Ted give to a delighted Dougal? A matador costume. Yes. In the episode called Hell, what's the exact title of the game Dougal is playing with at the table? Don't pass. When Dougal first meets Father Noel Furlong, how old does he say he is? Forty. Yes. When Ted and Dougal first decide to enter a song for Europe, what song title does Dougal come up with? My Lovely Horse. Yes. In the Christmas special, Dougal complains to Ted that he can't sleep. What is he actually doing at the time? He's on an exercise bike. Yes. In cigarettes, alcohol and rollerblading, Dougal can't remember meeting Sister Assumpta the previous year, so Ted reminds him of his misadventures. How did Dougal get out of the police station? Uh, it caught on fire and he was rescued by helicopter. Helicopter, yes. When the priests are struggling to keep their Lenten vows, they get a bowl of water for breakfast. But what does Dougal want instead? A Pop-Tart. Yes. On their holidays, one of two places to visit is the Magic Road, an optical illusion where cars roll uphill. Dougal says, this is as mad as what other phenomenon? That stuff we learned in the seminary. You know, the miracles of the loaves and fishes. When Dougal goes to the fun fair, instead of taking Father Jack for his walk, what's his excuse for not going? The cliffs were closed, and they were gone, and they'd been eroded. Yes. <laughs> when Jack develops hairy hands, what does Dougal first do to them? Tries to calm them. Yes. When Dougal let a tramp stay at the house for a week, who did he think he was letting stay? The Prime Minister of France. Yes. After a phone conversation where Tom McCaskill tells Ted he's won a golden cleric, what does Dougal guess is Ted's good news? You're getting married. Yes. Under the influence of the rebellious father Lennon, Dougal pierces which part of his body? Uh, his right ear. Yes. When on holidays in the caravan, I've started so I'll finish, with what items does Ted illustrate to Dougal that some things are small but others are simply far away? Small plastic cows. Yes. A.B., you passed on one question. The exact title of the game Dougal was playing was Magnetic Fish Pond. So at the end of that round, you scored 13 points.
So let's have a look at the scores so far. In third place with 11 points is Anton Savage. We have a three-way tie for second place between Gavin Duffy, Alan Short and A.B. Philbin Bowman, all on 13 points. And our leader at this stage on 15 points is Rick O'Shea. AB scored 13 in the specialist round, answering questions on the stupidity of Father Dougal Maguire. Now, it's a great subject, AB. I mean, are you a huge Father Ted fan? It's, it's a vast subject. I am a, a big fan of the show, yes. It's a great show, and it's um, wonderful religious comedy, which is kind of what I try to do, so it's nice to... And does it kind of match with your sort of quirky well, comedy? Well, the first time I went to Edinburgh, uh, I did a show called Jesus, the Guantanamo Years, and as a kind of a shortcut for Irish comedy, I got a big poster and a, on a banner, and I put, down with this sort of thing. And enough comedy fans got the re Father Ted reference to go, that'll be okay. So I just wanted to ask you too about your, your charity that you've chosen, Amnesty International. Have you done some work with them? Have you travelled yeah, abroad I mean, with them? Yeah, I think most comedians are sort of interested in free speech and the idea that you can say you know, speak your mind and you should be defended when you do. Um, I have had the thing of, of, I've done comedy in Pakistan uh, about religion and I've thought, you know, if this goes belly up, I might be giving Amnesty International a call. So I'd really like them to be well funded when that happens. Well, um, AB, you need nine points okay. to beat the target of 21. And you have two minutes on general knowledge starting now. What kind of farm animal was the star of the film Babe that was released in 1995? A pig. Yes. What is the name of the spicy green Japanese horseradish paste often used as an accompaniment What's to that dishes be? like sushi? Yes. Well, what digital innovation for cars is made by Garmin and TomTom, Tom, among others? Flatnav. Yes. Which Dubliner became the World Snooker Champion at the Embassy World Professional Championships in 1997? Uh, Ken Doherty. Yes. What is another name for fossilised tree resin? Gum. No, amber. The literary characters Vladimir and Estragon are waiting for whom? Godot. Yes. Which chemical element is present in all organic compounds? Oxygen? No, carbon. Which Roman god is represented as having two faces? Janus. Yes. How many players are in a GAA football team? Fifteen. Yes. The highest waterfalls in the world, the Angel Falls, are in which country? Canada. No, Venezuela. Who is the eighth and last husband of the late actress Elizabeth Taylor? Pass. Richard Burton. Who was the father of former Indian Prime Minister Indira Gandhi? It was Jawaharlal Nehru. Yes. Until 1967, what was BBC Radio 4 more commonly called or known as? Uh, pass. What Irish county has the shortest coastline? It is Leitrim. Yes. Who played the role of James Bond in the 1969 film On Her Majesty's Secret Service? It's gone. Uh, Roger Moore. No, George Lazenby. In athletics, how many events are there in a heptathlon? Seven. Yes. By what title is the 1970s British serial killer Peter Sutcliffe better known? The Moore's Murderer. No, the Yorkshire Ripper. What is the name of the record label that the Beatles started in Apple. 1968? Yes. A.B., you had two passes. Okay. Larry Fortensky was Elizabeth Taylor's last husband. And BBC Radio 4 was more commonly known as the Home Service. So at the end of the general knowledge round, you scored 11 points, bringing your total to 24 points.